They made this coffee hot as hell. Okay, so as the recording of this uh, video, the uh, Cat Williams interview with Shannon Sharp got 33 million views in what, five, six days? 33 million views. Now, I watched part of the interview, right? I, I, I tried to get into the topic of conversation when it comes to what he said. I tried, I did. Uh, I'm not going to sit and listen to a, a three hour fucking interview, uh, but I, I, I listened to about maybe an hour of it. So, my question is this to anybody out there that actually watched either at least most of it or all of it, I, I have a question. Uh, why does anybody give two shits and three fucks about what he said? I don't fucking understand it. I don't understand how that interview got so many fucking views. I don't get it. You know what I find the most fascinating of that entire interview is that Shannon Sharp is gay as hell and nobody talks about it. That dude is a flaming gaffkit. He is the most flamboyant, feminine acting dude I've seen in quite some time. Oh, Does anybody understand what the fuck he's saying? Like, I like Shannon Sharp. It, 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 this, it, I ain't trying to bash him like he gives a shit. How come nobody talks about how he how he acts like his mama? You could tell that man was raised in a household where there is not one guy, one man. He didn't have no brothers. I, 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 I don't believe he had any brothers. That is the most flaming gaff I've ever seen in the last like three, four years. I don't care what women he's been photographed with. He is what Atlanta is all about right now. That's what I'm most fascinated about about this interview is why ain't nobody saying like, yeah, this dude is acting super extra. Every day he acts super extra. I said, damn. I don't get it. Anyways, um, about the Cat Williams thing. The only thing that I heard that he said that I'm like fascinated by is that Steve Harvey, his high tap uh, was a wig. I had no idea. That's a damn good wig. That's a damn good wig. And I don't really really remember verbatim exactly what he said, but he was pretty much uh, talking smack about a lot of other comedians. And, I mean, Steve Harvey's funny. And, yeah, I know, he stole jokes. He's not funny. Uh, you know, he's funny. He, he had a TV show uh, for, for, for a few years. Uh, he's done stand-up uh, quite a uh, many, many, many uh you know, locations. He's host of the Family Feud. I don't know if it's still on. Uh, he's he's a funny guy. Uh, is he laugh out funny? Um, sometimes he is. Uh, it just depends. Uh, comedy is funny because when you say somebody's not funny or somebody's funny, ultimately that's your opinion. But comedy is subjective as in terms of who's funny or who's not funny, right? Some people think that the, the Indian guy is funny. I don't fucking get him. Uh, some people think the guy with the puppet is funny. Uh, I don't get him. Uh, I, you know, I think Martin Lawrence is one of the funniest stand-up comics of all time, but maybe nobody feels the same way. I have no idea. I I am try. I tried, guys. You know, because I, I was watching the videos of people, not watching, but I was looking at the numbers of people that would do videos talking about the cat williams thing and they were getting a lot of views and i'm like oh, okay let me let me let me do a video on here so i can try to get ten thousand views. i can't do it i can't do it because i can give uh, i don't give a shit what he said first of all listen cat williams is funny right uh is cat williams funnier than steve harvey um i don't know maybe on a good day yeah uh, i don't think cat williams is any funnier than any other like really famous stand-up black comic or white comic to to, to be honest uh i'll just put him in the, the section of black comedy because it's kind of different than white comedy but i don't think he's funnier than uh i don't think he's funnier than bernie mac i don't think he's funnier than cedric the entertainer i don't think he's funnier 
uh, than, you know, than D.L. Hughley. Maybe he might be funnier than D.L. Hughley, but um, he's he's in the top echelon of stand-up comics. I don't think he's the funniest guy of all time, but he is funny as hell. But I don't think that anything that he said was thought-provoking. Okay, he called out, like, oh, they have sex parties. I think a lot of times people, what they what they fail to realize is that, you know, uh, the, the ever-changing landscape of social media and how we become and how we've be become entertained has changed drastically uh, within the last uh, five years, especially with the advent of TikTok and um, YouTube getting bigger and um, possibly even becoming a rival one day of Netflix and then, you know, other streaming platform services. I think we put too much stock into what people on social media say. I think we put too much stock into what famous people say. Um, these people ain't nobody to you. They ain't nobody to me. I'm nobody to you. Uh, but you're everything to me because if you don't watch my videos, I don't make any money. And I, it's like, I, 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 I just don't care. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm just kind of like blind, deaf, and dumb to, to the to the world at large, but it's like, I, I don't care what he said. Like, he didn't say anything that I'm like, he said nothing. All, all it came across as is just uh, somebody that was a little bit, a uh, little bit pissed off uh, uh, about uh, other people's success, which I find funny. Because this dude has, uh, he could have been a way, or it still could be a way bigger stand-up comic if he wanted to. I mean, let's not forget, this is a guy that got into a fight with a teenager. Like a little kid, and he got beat up. It's like, you know, he's a little guy, so it's, that's not saying a whole lot, but... Uh, I, 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 who is he exposing? Who well, oh, is exposing this? Exposing what? Even if there was some underground cabal of fucking sex weirdos and freaks... How the fuck does that affect your or my life? Okay, listen. Hollywood is Hollywood. Every single Hollywood actress that you've ever heard of that became a big star fucked her way to get that to that position. Uh, that's all there is to it. It is what it is. When it comes to the, like, the other shit and the children shit, is I, look, listen, I don't know nothing of, of a kind. Um, I'm not saying I believe it or I don't believe it. I just honestly really don't care. It doesn't affect my life. A bunch of rumors about oh uh, who was on Epstein's list and you know and to me it's like who I don't give a shit I don't care about Epstein's list I don't care if Bill Clinton was on the flight logs he's a fucking pervert I, I care all right but that's that's roughly it I, I I I I've tried to make myself pretend to care and I fucking just don't care.